okay the zygote now has formed okay all these things they takes place inside the ovule now we will take a look at the development of the ovule which form after the fertilization process so or the development of the embryo sorry the diploid zygote here is regarded as the first cell of the sporophytic generation sporophytic generation why because it is the first cell which will germinate and lead to the formation of the pinus plant okay so the germination of the zygote it takes place in c2 always remember that that it takes place in c2 that means while the zygote is still enclosed inside the ovule and it forms embryo now the development of the embryo here okay is meroblastic why because the whole zygote actually is not uh, does not take part in the development of the embryo okay not the whole zygote the zygote here it enlarges in size it enlarges in size and as you can see that the diploid nucleus it has moved towards the base of the zygote in figure b and what happened if it moves towards the base it will divide two times okay it will divide two times forming four nuclei Okay, and these nuclei, as you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, they get arranged at the base of the zygote. And sometimes when you view this from the lateral side, okay, only two are visible. But actually, there are four nuclei. But when observed from the lateral side, only two will be visible. And these four nuclei, as you can see, they will divide again forming eight nuclei here actually there are eight nuclei but as i said when you view from the, from the lateral side only four can be seen but here it has be from four it has divided into eight nuclei and these eight nuclei they are arranged again at the base of the zygote in two tires okay in two rows you can see of four nuclei each here there are four in the second tire also there are four then again these four cells of the lower tire okay just this lower tire they will divide by a transverse wall forming uh, leading to the formation of 12 cells okay arranged in three tires one two three okay so you can see that these the lower cells the cells of this lower tire here they will divide forming 12 cells okay two here two here then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay arranged in three tires and next another division will take place in the cells of just the lower most tire here and result in the formation of 16 cells okay 16 cells in four tires okay so you can see the repeated division of these nuclei of the lower tire and this 16 cell structure now is called the pro embryo and the four tires begin from below here okay begin from below the lowermost tire is referred to as the embryonal tire the middle tire here is referred to as the suspensor tire the upper to the suspensor tire you can see the rosette tire and the uppermost one is referred to as the open tire this is the open tire because there is no wall uh, on top of this tire okay so this is the open tire so just remember at this 16 cell stage okay the 16 cell stage the embryo here is now referred to as the okay from below the embryonal tire it has four tires the embryonal suspensor rosette and open tire so when you take a look at this one just remember that because you are this is the lateral view so only two two nucleus can be seen in each tire but actually in one one tire there are four nucleus <clears throat> so four into four tires now there are 16 nuclei okay so just remember that 
and as each tire it contains four cells okay so that means four embryo will develop okay from these four cells of the embryonal tire just remember that now the embryo will form from this embryonal tire so since there are four cells in the embryonal tire and all the tires there are four four cells so just remember at last you will get four embryos okay so four embryos will form and those embryos will form from the embryonal tire that is why i had mentioned earlier that the zygote the development of embryo is meroblastic Meroblastic, as you can see here, that the whole zygote itself does not take part in the development of the embryo. Okay, only the lowest portion here, the embryonal tire, will lead to the formation of four embryos. And the cell of the suspensor tire, as you can see here, they start to elongate. Okay, they will elongate rapidly, forming spirally twisted. Okay, they will continue to elongate in all these figures you can see they will continue to elongate finally forming a spirally twisted long suspensors okay long suspensors by the growth of which the embryos here you can see the embryos are pushed down within the endosperm tissue when these suspensor will form will elongate they will push the embryo to the endosperm tissue okay now each cell of the embryonal tire here the lower most each cell of the embryonal tire they will divide by transverse division forming the upper secondary suspensor and the lower embryonal tube and the secondary suspensor you can see also they elongate rapidly along with the primary suspensor because these first suspensor cells they are the primary suspensor but due to the division of the embryonal tire here you get again two two tires of cells the lower they will form the embryonal tube whereas the upper will form the secondary suspensor cell so the primary and the secondary suspensor cell as you can see they elongate okay so the whereas these cells of other tires like russet tire and open tire they are functionless and in pinus the polyembryony okay the development of the embryo it occurs as four potential embryos okay although only one of them it matures ultimately and the embryo which mature matures it will form the seed okay it will lead to the development of a seed so actually in pinus four embryos are developed but only one of them will mature and become seed